Miriam, we first met at Siena Heights in the Science Lecture Hall in 1961. You were for me, as for many alumni, faculty, and staff of Siena, a teacher and mentor who called us to be the best that we could be. You were an excellent teacher who could present the logic of your lessons clearly and who could call on a wide variety of analogies to clarify and expand on concepts. You cared deeply about each of your students and continued to mentor them after their graduations. I know I felt your challenge and support as I moved into and through graduate school. Miriam, you spent your life in the Dominican quest for truth, searching always to know more about God through creation and to more fully praise the God of your life. We would be most pleased by our remembrance of you if we lived out your example of that search. I'll do my best, Miriam. This is a story of an ordinary woman, gifted with extraordinary courage and radiant faith, who carved a new path for the future, responsive to the call of her Dominican vocation. Today, her quest for truth and discovery continues to make a difference in our world. Born in Chicago in 1913, Sister Miriam Michael Stimson was interested in science from an early age and wanted to become a doctor. But while a student at St. Joseph College, she grew to love, admire, and respect the Dominican sisters who were her teachers. She entered the congregation in 1933, earned a bachelor's degree in chemistry in 1936, a master's degree in 1939, and a doctorate in 1948. Her teaching career includes nearly 30 years at Siena Heights College, where she established a research lab in which she pioneered a technique known as spectroscopy. That led her to become the second woman after Marie Curie to lecture at the Sorbonne in Paris. Even as her research led to the discovery of DNA and cancer treatments, she said that her sense of accomplishment was not found in her efforts, but in the progress of her students she also believed that part of her vocation was to be a witness to Christ in the Society of Scientists. I first met uh, Sister Mary Michael Stimson when I joined the faculty here at Siena Heights University. She was a frequent visitor to my office and uh, and then the conversations that we had, uh, I got to learn more about her. So Miriam is noted for developing the uh, potassium bromide disc method for analyzing the chemical structure of DNA. The idea there was that uh, the work that she was doing you know, wasn't just for her own benefit, but rather it was a way of helping her to better understand uh, the creator. So if you, if you view you know, the world that we live in as, as uh, the creation of a creator, uh, then by learning uh, more about how the world works and the natural laws uh, that govern the world that we live in, uh, we become closer to better understanding the creator. So that kind of desire to learn more and to draw closer to the Creator you can view that as a form of worship. You know, through her, her research, she was able to, you know, utilize her own time, her, you know, the, her own talents, which, which was not easy. And again, overcoming many obstacles, especially for being um, someone other than a, a white male, she was able to, to accomplish so many great things. So Miriam was such a, a great model for everyone and I'm really pleased to 
you know, be able to share her story to inspire the next generation of future scientists.